All right, all right, it's magnets. A number of highly precise magnets are making this heap of concrete float. I don't say I didn't warn you. Once you've seen behind the curtain, that's it. The magic is gone. I know this because I ran the test personally. Carolyn, do you think anyone's going to make it this far? I mean, should I even bother making a message? What? Yes, I know how to turn it off. No, I don't want to turn it off. All right, now I feel like turning it off. Carolyn, hold my calls. I need to go see a man about a mule. What was that? All right, good. Mule. Going to go see him in the bathroom. Back in ten. Cave Johnson again, just a heads up. This next test dangerous. So if you get hurt, there's a first aid station close by. Oh, that, unless you're participating in the double-blind emergency treatment experiment, then it's just placebo first aid. Hold on, let me check what test this is for. Uh, uh. No, sir, I wouldn't bother with it. What? Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. It also means you've single-handedly managed to eradicate an entire species in the space of an afternoon, which definitely deserves some kind of recognition, possibly from an international tribunal. Carolyn, give them something shiny and make sure they don't get within ten feet of my office. Greetings, friend. It's Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. How do you feel about your feet? Like them? Good. Because if this next test works, you'll have five of them. If you're hearing this clip, it means you fought off enough mantis men to complete half of the test. But you should know as well as I do that people don't get medals for a job half done. So, less listening to pointless voice recordings and more fighting mantis men. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who never did anything more brave than read a big book, except for Greg, who fought a bear once, but he's not the point here, that sounds like what they call projection. Okay, I know I said you could loiter for up to 20 minutes. That was a possibility, not a suggestion. You can move along anytime. And for the love of science, do not touch the upholstery. I should probably introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. You'll be hearing a lot more of me during the course of your testing. Some might say a little too much, but then those same some might want to pack up their desks and walk on out the door they came in. I suppose it's time to talk about the elephant in the room. Why is the entire facility floating in a giant bubble? Well, I'd like to answer that question with another question. Why wouldn't it be? There, that ought to keep the majority satisfied for a few minutes. Just a quick heads up, if you suddenly find yourself able to excrete spider silk out of your fingers or the base of your spine, let one of the test associates know, because that's actually important. Now, the lab boys were adamant that I do not give you any hints on these tests. To be honest, they think I'm spoiling the results just by talking to you. Heisenstein, uncertainty, principles, and so forth. I'll give them something more practical to be uncertain about, their next paycheck. Anyway, overruled. If you think I'm affecting your decisions in any way, don't be afraid to speak up. I'm not made of glass. That reminds me, Carolyn, do we have a wing made out of glass yet? Let's get on that, Carolyn. One of those maddest men you're happily wailing on used to work here in our human resources department. A little ironic, don't you think? What? Well, how was I supposed to know he was your brother? Twins, you say? So you might be wondering, why you? Simply, human test subjects get better scientific results than animals. Why? Well, for one, your tramps, lunatics, foundlings, what have you, can bring problem-solving ability to test environments with a facility that shames lower ruminants. For another, you have thumbs. Still wondering what makes the facility float, huh? All right, I guess you've earned an explanation. It's surprisingly simple, really. To be honest, it's so simple that I'm not sure you really want to hear it. You probably won't believe me because you'll think, that's too simple. Cave, you'll say, I wasn't born yesterday. I've been to space for crying out loud. And you'd have a point, so... Forget I said anything. That last test may have made your skeleton magnetic. I don't know how, but if I were you, I wouldn't stand next to any sheet metal. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Please move to the designated marker and assume your chosen combat stance. You'll know when the test starts. Welcome. All volunteers for the Praying Mantis test should approach the information panel where you'll find a happy little button that'll get things started. There may also be an identical fake button which is wired directly into the mains. If there is, then pressing the correct one is your first test, and possibly last. Welcome, gentlemen, to Aperture Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best and you are it. So, who's ready to make some science?
You might have noticed some safety warnings on the walls. Just ignore them. I keep telling the bean counters, danger is just a natural part of science, but boy, they don't want to hear it. It's like telling a paradox to a robot, you know, it makes their heads explode.